We have a closet off our kitchen, which I guess is our broom closet. It's not really very cluttered, but it's not really being used very well. We really need to be able to store a lot more in this space. So we were thinking it'd be a good place to keep all of the cleaning products. So we thought we would redo it and add a lot more storage space. So I took out the stuff that was in there and I pulled off the pegboard that I'm not a big fan of. We had been thinking about this closet for a while and I had figured I would just make shelves or I would just make cabinets or cubbies or something sort of static for it. In talking about what we wanted to do in this space, it sounded more and more like we didn't want a rigid setup. We wanted something that we could customize as we saw what it was that we were putting in the space. It was sort of hard to pre-plan exactly a space or a, or a hook or a cubby for each object that we wanted to put in there. It became clear that what I wanted to come up with was a system and less a form. So what I decided to do was to just make a French cleat surface that we could then hang different kinds of storage systems off of. So I made wood panels of French cleats that would go in the walls, and then from that we could make shelves and hooks. I started by making the wood panels for the walls. The wood backing would be half inch birch plywood. I would make the cleats out of that same half inch birch plywood. I sanded the backer pieces before I put the cleats on. In making the cleats I had to cut out lots and lots of strips. I started by cutting strips that would be twice as wide as the cleat that I needed and then once I had the strips I could cut a 45 degree angled cut down the middle of that strip and get two cleats per strip. Then I laid out the cleats on the backer panels. Then from there I could just glue them down and then tack them in place with, with finish nails. And the cleats are about two inches tall and they're four inches apart. There's a solid space that's a little more than two inches and a void that's a little less than two inches. I sanded. I sanded the, the sharp edge down just slightly. I trimmed the top panel to the final length so it would fit in the, in the space. On the back wall of the closet, there's some wires that are coming out of the wall. I'm not exactly sure what they're for, but I didn't really want to cut them. So I made two furring strips on each side of the back wall that'll hold the panel out from the wall just, just a little bit to give those wires some space then I could put the panels on the back wall and I just put them on with a screw at each corner and that seems to work well. Now on the top of the upper panel there's some wires that come out of the wall and then go into the ceiling so I had to cut a little notch in the top of the upper panel and then you can see how that fits into the panel. I really don't know what those wires go to so I didn't really want to cut them. Then the side panels can go in and I did the same thing where it's a screw at each corner. And that's what the closet with the panel system looks like without any storage systems hanging on the cleats yet. Now I'll make some shelves to hang on that cleat system. So the first thing I'm making here is some more cleats that'll fit into the cleats that are on the wall. And I found at this point it was easier to cut the 45 degree angle if I held the strip on the side and on the top so that it wouldn't migrate out of the straight line of the 45 degree cut. Then I cut the shelf out of 18 millimeter bolted birch plywood. And with this bolted birch, it doesn't have any voids in the layers of plywood, so you don't really have to put an edge on it. It looks nice enough the way it is. I needed 30 inch wide shelves on both the sides and the back. These sheets come in 60 inch wide pieces, so I cut the strips and left them at 60 inches wide and then I could cut them in half once I had the cleat on. Before I attach the cleat to the shelf, I wanted to cut some dados in the bottom of the shelves to receive supports that would hold up the shelf. So I set up the dado blade and the radial arm saw and cut those dados before I put the cleat on the back of the shelf. And then once this was done, I could put the cleat on. And I just did this with glue and then tacked it in place with finished nails, both from the back and then from the top of the shelf. 
since this connection is going to be in tension for the most part. Once that's done, I can cut the shelves to their final width of 30 inches. Now to make the support pieces that will go under the shelves, I'm going to use some 12 millimeter Baltic birch for this. And I'm just going to make some triangles. I'll sand a little bit before I attach those. So now with the dados in place, where the support goes is really easy because I can just stick it in the dado, which makes assembly a lot easier. So I just used some glue and then nailed them in place from above. Now I made the triangles a little bit long and then sanded off a little bit of extra bit, which will fill up the dado on the outer edge of the shelf. Now the shelves are done. And what I'd like to make are hooks for the system. These are really easy. I can just cut a strip of 18 millimeter Baltic birch and then attach a cleat to the back of that. And then with that section made, I can then slice each hook out of that section. So they're really easy to make and they all turn out exactly the same. Then to make the actual hook, I can drill a hole into the piece of plywood. And I can use the cleat to actually hold the piece at an angle. So the, the metal rod that, that I can stick in that hole will then point up just a little bit so that the thing that goes on that hook doesn't slide off. And then it was time to bring the pieces in to the house. And they go in place really easily. You can basically just set the shelf in place and it stays. And it's rigid and strong and it holds the stuff that you want to put on it. So it seems to work really well. Hooks are really easy too. They, you just put them on the wall where you want them to go and you're done. And even odd shaped objects can, can be hung on the hooks. So this is the closet as it was, and then as it is now. I just put the shelves and the cleaning products and cleaning tools into the closet as it seemed like it would work, but I'm sure my wife will have at it at some point and rearrange this entire thing. And she can do that because it's a system and not a rigid form. Thanks for watching.